kindergarten friends. Today we are going to start the process of making a painted self-portrait. A self-portrait is a portrait that we draw or paint or sculpt that is ourselves. So this is my self-portrait. We need a mirror to see what we look like. So when I ask you to use your mirror, I want you to hold it at arm lengths like shown. And we're going to look at the shape of our head first. So when I looked at my face in the mirror, I noticed that it's shaped like an oval. An oval is like a stretched out circle. So I'm going to draw a big oval on my paper. And now it's time to start thinking about the eyes. So when I look in the mirror at my eyes, I notice that the outside of my eyes are shaped kind of like lemons or footballs. They're pointy on the inside and the outside and they're rounded at the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna draw the larger shape of my eyes first. Next is the iris. The iris is the colored part of your eye. So my irises are brown, so people say I have brown eyes. And then in the middle of my iris is my pupil, and that's the part of your eye that lets light into your eyes. So it's small in the, a lot of light and it gets larger in the dark. Right now I'm going to work on my eyebrows. So I'm gonna draw the shape of my eyebrows and the eyebrows are high above my head and I'm gonna do the shape first. Then later I might add some texture or draw those little hairs that make up my eyebrows. So right now I'm working on those little um, hairs that make up my eyebrows, adding some texture to my picture. Now I'm going to draw my eyelashes and my eyelashes are little hairs or lines that come up from my upper and lower eyelids and their job is to protect my eyes from getting dust or small particles in them. Now it's time to draw the nose and so when I feel my nose I feel that it is smaller on the top where my eyes are and it gets wider at the bottom. It's kind of like a triangle except that I have a lot of circles so I have these like round shapes that surround the outside of my nose. Those are my nostrils. Then I have this kind of round shape that comes down the center of my nose and it looks kind of like a happy face and then I'm going to just make a little bit of a line up towards the eyes where my nose begins. Time to draw my lips now. So I want to have a little bit of a smile. So my top lip, it's going to kind of come um, up and towards the center of my lips and then it's going to come down sharp and then it's going to go back up and then the line in between my lips is going to follow what the upper lip does and then the bottom lip kind of just rounds out. Now I've started my ears, so I'm going to draw these um, kind of like half circles on the sides of my face for my ears. I'm going to work on the neck, so my neck is going to come down behind my ears and it's going to go straight down and then kind of angle off to where my shoulders are. And now for the hair. There's really no one way um, to draw hair because everybody has different hair. So right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and I usually wear my hair up in a ponytail. So I'm drawing these lines that show my hair that's growing from my hairline up towards the center of my head um, so that it's in that ponytail. And this part of my hair looks a little bit straight at what we call the roots. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing my waves up on top of my head. So I usually put my hair up. So I'm just using, right now I'm using like um, spirally, circly type of lines for my hair. So if you have straight hair, you're going to draw straight lines. If you have curly hair, you're going to draw uh, spirally, curly lines. It all depends on what your own hair looks like. So after I drew myself, I decided to add a background to my picture and I decided to include things that I like. So I included my mom's cat cutie and my own cat petunia and we are sitting by the window of my uh, home classroom and so I included those flowers at the window. So you can also include anything that you really like in your background and include yourself in a place that you really like. So it's important to think about your own ideas about where you want to be in your self-portrait. 